right, as we head into the new year, a lot of you might be making plans to go out and celebrate. Yeah, right, and that might include a final dinner. This morning, CBS Sports Rachel Bogle shows you a new hot spot you may want to try. Hey, Rach. Yeah. Gotta coat that stomach with some good food before you go out and ring in the new year. So today we're talking about one of the newest restaurants on Mass Ave. It's called Raw Bar by Slapfish, and it opened earlier this month. It's located in what was formerly McNiven's. Raw Bar is bringing the same dedication to sustainable seafood locals know and love with a bit of a twist, a luxe ambiance, and a focus on oysters. We're dining out before ringing in 2022 on this trip in your neighborhood. One of the big differences between Raw Bar and Slapfish is at Raw Bar we feature oysters. So that's one difference. You can walk back and forth between the two restaurants, both owned by Weghorst. But lately, the buzz is all about the newly opened Raw Bar and its oysters. We'll have between six to eight different types of oysters from all around, east coast, west coast, whatever we can get, whatever's fresh. Both Slapfish and Raw Bar pride themselves on offering the freshest, sustainable seafood in the Midwest. But Raw Bar offers it with a bit of a different ambiance and some unique menu items like mussels, lobster mac and cheese, crab cakes, the ultimate BLT, which includes avocado, plus a lobster roll and lobster tots. But for the big kahuna of seafood orders, there's the Seafood Tower. The seafood Tower is going to have 18 oysters, and there's going to be peel and eat shrimp, crab claws, ahi tuna, a poached lobster. It's definitely the way to go if there's three or four people coming in that want to share some seafood. The restaurant is dedicated to sustainability, not only when it comes to seafood, but also at the bar. When I can, I try to use as many local ingredients or sustainable ingredients. Some of the most popular cocktails include the Agua de Flora, New York Sour, and the Indiana 75. I am using the Huber Barrel Finish Gin from Starlight, Indiana, the Cardinal Flora Liqueur from Bloomington, Indiana, as well as lavender syrup, lemon juice, and top it off with champagne. While on Mass Ave, check out these other locally owned hotspots, the District Theater, 45 Degrees, the Oakmont, and the Exchange Whiskey Bar. Not even 6.30 and I really want a lobster roll. Oh man, so whereas Slapfish is dedicated more to quick service style, Raw Bar offers a bit of an elevated experience to sit and relax, socialize and enjoy some of their shareable plates. And in addition to their array of cocktails, they also feature 16 beers on tap, including several from area breweries. So if you want more information on Raw Bar by Slapfish, head over to the story. It's posted on our website right now, cbs4indy.com. Just look under the CBS4 this morning tab right at the top. Oysters and cocktails, the way to my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does look good. It does.